Now, before I start coding, let's get first comfortable with Visual Studio Code and set her up to make it a little bit easier to code Elm. You'll notice the terminal has a bunch of text here. I like it clean. I'm just very obsessive compulsive about that. So one way to get rid of it is this type clear. A lot of Unix-based systems, including some of the new terminal shells in Windows, you can clear out all the text. So I'm typing clear, hit enter. Another way to do it is when you're doing a bunch of commands, you have a bunch of text. You can also do command K on the Mac as well. Command K is what our old people call Apple. So Apple K, command K. The next thing is you'll notice that we're not actually in a folder here. So it wants us to go in a folder. We've got to put our code, because we're going to have a bunch of files in a folder. And Visual Studio Code is used to showing a, at least one particular folder or root folder of everything that's in there. So we're gonna go in our uh, sub, which is empty here. You can make a new one. You can put it wherever, it doesn't matter. And now it'll show that, all right, this is where all our files are gonna go. You, it also show what files you have open. I never use this thing. The only thing that's open right now is welcome. So if you close it, it'll disappear. So this is where our files and folders are. Next up is we wanna open our terminal again and clear it out. So now we are good. We have everything we need to start coding Elm. The last thing though, is we need something to help us make Elm code prettier. One of the nice things about IDEs is they have features to recognize the type of code you're coloring. So for example, if I type in command in here, it gives me a blank file. So it's not even saved yet. It's nowhere to be found. And it defaults to plain text. So if I start typing like what would look like Elm code, say add A plus B equals A plus B, like it's all white and there's no colors. It doesn't like tell me my function is wrong. So there's just like basic things that could help me with just colors that I could visualize and see my code. So it has this thing over here called extensions. And I'm gonna type in Elm, search for it. And a lot of these things, if you move right to give you a little more room, you can click on each one and see what they offer. I'm gonna remove my terminal for a second and zoom out. And so you can see what each one offers. I've installed a bunch of these. I've had the best luck with this one in terms of coloring, Sbrink. Now other ones are good too. I've tried Elm Emmet, it's okay. I've tried run Elm tests, blah, blah, blah. But this one is cool. Just to get basic coloring of your code. That although this is installed, it's not gonna kick in until it knows it's an Elm file. And there's two ways it knows to do that. You can manually set the file by clicking this plain text and say Elm. And then suddenly it'll make your function orange and your variables like this and your equal sign a light gray, including the operator. Or you can literally just save the file as test.elm. The last thing I want to show is that if you don't like dark coding like I do, although Emmet will do the coloring, it doesn't really do the background per se or the IDE, the whole, the windows. You can go to code preferences and color theme. And if you don't touch anything here, you can press the down arrow key and it'll cycle through each one of these. If you look at, say it says tomorrow night blue or high contrast, by the way, high contrast is great for the beach, by the way. If you go up through, you can cycle through all the colors. Me personally, I like Monokai dimmed. That's just me. Slightly modify the colors. If you're installing an Elm extension, just be aware that the IDE colors you use could affect that.